Good to have you with us today on First at Four. I'm Devin Skillian in for Karen today. We're going to begin with breaking news out of Washington. That is where high level political drama has been unfolding on Capitol Hill over the last hour. Moments ago, the United States Senate voted on a proposal to go forward with the debate to repeal Obamacare. It was as tight as it can be. Uh, Vice President Mike Pence casting the tie breaking vote. So it's 51 to 50. And that came just a week after the Republican effort to dismantle a pillar of former President Obama's legacy appeared all but doomed. Kimberly Gill following the latest for us from the newsroom with more Kim. Yeah, Devin tight. It was good afternoon to you. Essentially, this was a vote to start debating with a lot at stake for, stake for the majority of Republican leadership and for President Trump, for that matter. For years, Republicans have been promising to get rid of the Affordable Care Act, and this vote marks an initial win for President Trump, who has pushed senators for the last few days, quite frankly, to at least begin debating the repeal of the health care law. Before we look more in depth at the decision, let's go back before the tie breaking vote was cast. As for the Asian A's. As for the Asian A's. Now those were exclamations from protesters. Uh, you could hear their booming voices through the Senate floor just before Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell initiated the voting process. Meanwhile, other more joyful exclamations greeted Senator John McCain, who is battling brain cancer. He returned uh, to the Senate floor today uh, for today's vote, and it's clear that the Republicans' vote helped his party secure a victory after the vote he addressed the chamber. But I stand here today looking a little worse for wear, I'm sure. I have a refreshed appreciation for the protocols and customs of this body and for the other 99 privileged souls who have been elected to this Senate. But make no mistake, my service here is the most important job I've had in my life. And that was Senator John McCain that you just heard from there expressing gratitude for being able to participate and serve in the Senate. He also thanked his constituents in, in Arizona for what he calls a privilege. Uh, so now back to the health care vote. Even with today's successful step, it is unclear whether Republicans will have the votes they need to uproot the law. But we do know the Senate will now begin debating, amending, and ultimately voting in the coming days on legislation that would have a profound impact on the American health care system. And Devin, we will, of course, be monitoring it all for you, and uh, we'll keep you posted. Until then, we'll send it back to you. Sure will, Kim. And that was epic speech by Senator McCain that is going to be shared a ton here in the coming days, no doubt about it. Uh, by the way, not long ago, President Trump addressed the health care vote. That was during a, a joint news conference with the Prime Minister of Lebanon. I want to just thank some of the Republican senators who were really fantastic in getting us here, particularly John McCain for making the trip. Uh, but I think you're going to have a great health care. This is the beginning of the end for the disaster known as Obamacare. So also ask about the immediate future of the Attorney General Jeff Sessions. The president said only time will tell. Not exactly a ringing endorsement. Uh, the president, the Lebanese prime minister, by the way, also pledged solidarity in their joint fight against terrorism.